welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to give you guys a skincare routine because i get frequently asked how i maintain my skin on social media especially on instagram so i figured today would be the perfect time to share with you guys what i do to keep my skin looking radiant and blemish free so first of all i keep my routine very very simple and i believe that it really starts with what you put into your body i do eat a vegan diet as well as drinking a lot of water I do think that contributes a lot to my skincare. But um, to be honest, I've never really had issues with acne or blemishes like that. I think it kind of is a genetic thing. I'll be honest with you guys um, with that. It is genetics a lot of times with how your skin reacts. And I don't recollect ever seeing like my mom, my dad, my brother, or my sister having acne or like severe breakouts of any kind. So I do think that's number one, but what you put into your body definitely makes a big difference as well. Um, your skin is your largest organ. So usually when it is acting out of whack, it's because there's something going on internally. I know a lot of people when they're ready to um, fix their skin from inside out, they uh, stop eating dairy, stop eating processed sugars, all that type of stuff because like I said it is a direct reflection of what you're putting in your body that's coming out so be mindful of that and um, I don't believe that there's any miracle products on the market I know there's so many different crazy things people buy 10 step 12 step procedures and that's great if you want to try that but I do believe you should start off with keeping a more minimalistic approach using natural products as well as just being more mindful as to what you put in your body. So with that being said, I'm just gonna dive right into what I do to keep my skin looking fresh. So there's only two things that I do put on my face and they are both products that I make myself. Um, I use shea butter as my moisturizer and I use African black soap as my cleanser. Those are the only two products that I put on my face. So I have a bowl of water here just so I can kind of give you guys an idea. Normally I would do this at my sink, but since um, I'm filming right now, this was the easiest way I felt like I could show you guys. So I just take cold water. First thing in the morning when I get up, I just take cold water and I splash it all over my face, you know, get any crust out your eyes, all that. Rinse your face down really good with cold water. Then I just pat it dry with a washcloth. I make sure not to be, you know, going all crazy and aggressive with the washcloth, just patting it dry. Then I go in with my shea butter. I take just a little scoop. It doesn't take much. <clears throat> Rub it really, really good throughout your hands. And then I just apply it to my face. I make sure to really focus on the corners of my eyes, the corners of my nose, and the corners of my mouth. And try and go in an upward circle as much as possible. I feel like things like that help prevent aging, premature aging. And yeah, just really focusing on getting in the eyes. Because a lot of times, if you look close up in the mirror, and you just say you just put lotion on like regular and didn't actually focus in here, you can see like how the dry skin wrinkles up. So it's very important to keep those crevices in your face super moisturized. So that's what I do. And I'll look a little greasy for maybe like an hour in the morning. But to be honest, it really doesn't bother me at all because I feel like it gives my skin an amazing glow that lasts throughout the entire day. And I do have naturally oily skin as well. So, you know, at first I was kind of worried about using such a heavy product on my face. But like I said, it absorbs into your skin just perfectly fine throughout the day. You won't be looking like an oil slick, you know, hours later. It does all soak in. And another thing, I don't wear makeup at all. I don't do any sort of concealers, foundations. The most I'll ever put on my face is mascara, which I guess that's not really even going on my face. But I think that's also helped keep my skin um, blemish-free over the years because it's important to let your skin breathe. Like, I just, I, I don't even feel comfortable. I remember, like, years and years ago trying out some foundation and I just felt like my skin was clogged up and couldn't breathe. And... I don't know. I guess it, you get used to it after a while, but it's something I just never have gotten used to and never felt like it was a normal thing that you should want to get yourself used to. But to each its own, not bashing anybody who chooses to do that. Everybody has their own path. Now, so this is what I do in the morning time. 
at night is when I take my shower and I use my African black soap. This is what I use for my entire body as well as my face. Um, I go in, when I'm washing my face, I do not ever use a washcloth on my face. I still just pour a little soap in my hands, rub it all together, and then cleanse my face like that with my fingers. I think it's very important not to put um, towels and loofahs and all that type of stuff on your face. I think those can be damaging after time. So yeah, I just go in and wash with my wash my face with my fingers using African black soap and then I re-moisturize with my shea butter again. So yeah, that's all I use ever and I feel like it's been working great as far as keeping my skin blemish free. I can't even really remember the last time I had pimples or anything like that. So like I said, take care of your skin from within first and then consider natural products as what you use to heal your skin. Um, I know there's a lot of products on the shelf right now that they're marketing to us and especially black women, we have to be very careful. People, black, black men and black women, we have to be careful because a lot of that stuff is not um, good for our melanin. So be very mindful and try and use as natural products as possible and clean your diet up because What's on the inside reflects the outside. So that is it. If you are interested in purchasing any of these products, my African Black Soap and my Shea Butter, I do have on my website, which I will link, link down below in the description. It is rosterholisticcare.com. I also sell other natural hair and body products. So check it out. Support Black Business. And I will see you guys in the next one.